In just the last three weeks, there have been three deadly car crashes in our area, and they all had one thing in common. The people who died were not wearing seat belts. WFM News 2's Jenna Krasina spoke with Highway Patrol about the importance of buckling up. Chad, look, it only takes a second to put your seatbelt on, but state troopers say they still show up on scenes of deadly car wrecks where people involved were not wearing one. There was a deadly crash today in High Point. First responders say a car ran off the road and hit a tree on South Centennial Street near East Russell Avenue. Police say the driver, 49 year old Antoine Ingram, lost control of his car. He later died after the crash. Investigators say he was not wearing his seatbelt. This was the third deadly crash in High Point this year where someone was not buckled up. State Trooper Ryan Martin says they see it all the time, both here in the triad and across the state. No matter if you're going five minutes down the road to see grandma or if you're taking a three hour trip, you know, down the road to the beach, you've got to remember to buckle up every trip, every single time because uh, seatbelts save lives. I've been uh, a state trooper for 20 years and I, I've seen a ton of fatal crashes over the course of my career and numerous times I have seen crashes where people were involved in these fatalities that would have lived or would possibly have lived if they would have had their seatbelt on. Trooper Martin says they also give out tickets daily to drivers who are not wearing a seatbelt. Since January 1st, Highway Patrol investigated more than 250 deadly crashes in our state. Trooper Martin says about half of those crashes were people who were not buckled up.